Welcome to the Mike V Ultimate Grind Rail Kit Installation Guide. First thing we're going to do is cut all the tape so we can easily access all the parts. This is the pole jam. Remove the plastic. Next, you grab the foot, also remove the plastic, and then the leg. This is your hardware box. All of your hardware and extra parts are gonna be in this box. And what we're gonna grab now is the knobs with the little extension piece on it. There should be two of them for one pull jam. Okay, we're gonna grab the leg. We're gonna go and put it in, the flat end first. As you can see, the top piece has the angled cut. And go ahead and insert it in. It's gonna look like this before you put the knobs in. And then go ahead and slide it up to its tallest setting from the bottom of the leg. There should be three holes in it. Hand tighten it as much as you can. And then lift it to its highest point on the pull jam. And go ahead and hand tighten the knob. And what this does is it keeps the ground flush with the bottom of the pull jam. Make sure both knobs are tight, and there you have it, that's the Mike V pole jam. For the pole jam spine, you're going to need to build two pole jams that are in the ultimate grind rail kit. After doing so, flip them upside down and place them together. These are the two brackets you're going to need to use. Place them like so. This is the hinge bolt that's going to connect the pole jams together. Now you need four small bolts and you're going to loosely tighten the bracket onto each pole jam. After loosely tightening all four bolts and the bracket now is loosely tightened to the pole jam, go ahead and do so to the other pole jam. Next, what we're going to do is make sure that all eight of the bolts that we've installed are tight. You can do so by using the long end of the Allen wrench and then going back through with the short end. What this does is it gets it really tight. And after you're done, go and flip both of them up. Put them together, and you're gonna use that thinner hinge bolt that we talked about earlier. You're gonna unscrew it, you're gonna make sure there's a washer on each side, and you're gonna place it through the hole, like so. Then put the washer on, and then the nut, then hand tighten it first. Then you're gonna get the tools that are provided in the hardware kit. You're gonna tighten this down nicely. Make sure the top is flush as possible, and then you're ready to ride. Okay. After you build the pole jam spine and you're ready to step it up a bit, we're going to build the inclined flat bar. So you're going to start out with getting the flat bar out of the box, removing the plastic, After removing the plastic, go ahead and set the flat bar down in front of the pole jams. Okay. These are going to be the brackets we're going to install on the flat bar, which is going to connect to the pole jam. It only takes two bolts. Make sure the washer is on the bolt and then loosely tighten onto the flat bar. Okay. 
Now we're gonna make sure we really tighten them. Use the long end of the Allen key to make sure it's really tight. And then when you're done, use the short end of the Allen key for a little bit more leverage to make sure it's really tight. Do so on both sides. Next, grab one of your pull jams. You're gonna need another hinge bolt. Again, make sure there's a washer on each side. Go and grab your pole jam and flip it over, and then align the hinge bolts. Notice, one side fits better than the other, so you want to put it on the side that is more flush, like so. Keep in mind that after the hinge bolt is in place and tightened, that your rail will sit really flush. Now on to the second pole jam. You're going to do the same thing as the first. You're going to line up the hinges, make sure it's flush, like so. And you're going to install the hinge bolt. Make sure there's a washer on both sides. Next what we're going to do is use our tools that came in a hardware kit and then we're going to tighten these. Make sure that the top of the pole jam and the top of the flat bar sits flush. Our system is designed for both surfaces to meet. Again, do so on the other side. After both surfaces are flush and smooth, you are ready to ride. Next, what we're gonna build is the rail kit. So what you're gonna need to do is disassemble the pole jams. So you need to take off the legs, and then you're going to need to remove all eight bolts that we used to tighten the brackets down to the pole jam. The rail kit requires all 16 bolts that come in your hardware kit. After you're done removing all eight bolts from the pole jam, we're gonna remove the rainbow rail from the packaging. Again, make sure you remove the plastic then we're gonna set it on the ground next to the pole jams. There are two special flat bracket pieces that we like to call a saddle that were designed specifically for the rainbow rail. What they do is connect the pole jam to the rainbow rail. Go ahead and set one on each end of the rainbow rail. Grab four bolts. Loosely tighten them into the saddle. Make sure there's a little bit of wiggle room. Tighten and complete the step on both sides. Next, we're gonna grab the pull jam and align it in the saddle. You need to grab four more bolts to connect the saddle to the pull jam. Also loosely tighten these bolts.
Next, we are going to tighten down all eight of the bolts. Use your thumb and apply pressure on the seam to make sure that the riding surface is flush with each other. You want to make sure that all eight of these bolts are tightened really well to ensure that the riding surfaces between the pole jam and the rainbow rail are flush. Next, we're going to install the leg and the foot. Go ahead and insert the angled end of the leg into the pole jam. And you can flip the pole jam over. It should maintain itself. You can do the same thing on the other side. Again, make sure that the angled end goes into the pole jam. You're going to adjust your leg to the nearest guide hole which allows your rainbow rail to sit flush with the ground. Hand tighten the lower knob onto the foot and also do the same thing with the hole above. Repeat these steps on the other side. Next, you want to double check that the bottom of your pole jam is flush with the ground. And after it is, you are ready to ride. Remember to keep the saddle on the rainbow rail. You won't need it for any other obstacle. The last obstacle that we're going to set up is the flat bar. Go and pull it out of the packaging, and set it on the ground upside down, grab the same legs from the pull jams, and go ahead and insert the angled in. The flat bar is fully adjustable, so you can adjust the height to whatever you would like. After choosing the height that you would like, make sure you hand tighten the knobs. Repeat the steps on the other side. With the flat bar, it doesn't matter how you put the leg in, it will not affect the rail. Again, make sure you hand tighten the knob to ensure stability. After hand tightening all four knobs, flip the flat bar over and you are ready to ride. <laughs>